Hello everyone. In this session, I will tell you about the SAP Smart Forms. SAP Smart Forms, it is a GR tool which is used to design the business document such as the purchase order printout, goods receipt note, sales order confirmation form, delivery challenge, invoice copy, barcode printing, check printing, etc. There are many other documents which are required to meet the business requirement. The output of the smart forms can be taken over a printer, through a fax or can be sent as an email. We can save that as a PDF file or we can publish that in a HTML XML format or the internet. The smart forms were introduced by the SAP in 1998 to overcome the limitations of SAP scripts. The smart forms are very easy to develop, to maintain and transport. So what are the main features and advantage of a smart form? It is very easy to develop without much programming knowledge with the help of graphical user interface. We can use the different text formats and colors in a smart form. We can create the multiple pages in a smart form. To make any changes, we can easily use the drag and drop concept and cut and paste concept. We can keep the backup of a smart form, of a complete smart form, as well as of an individual node. We can insert a static as well as dynamic images. We can insert a static as well as dynamic text elements. The address window to print a customer, vendor, or address is also possible with the help of address number field that is nothing but the ADR and R field of the ADRC table. When we activate a smart form, it generates a function model. The web publishing is possible using the generated XML output. Now let's see some basic difference between the SAP script and a smart form. A smart forms are client independent. When we activate the smart form, a function model is generated and in each client, the function model name is different. Okay, that's why the smart forms are called as client independent, whereas the SAP scripts are client dependent. Text supports various colors. In SAP scripts, we can use only black and white colors. The main window is not compulsory in a smart form. But in a SAP scripts, the main window is compulsory. The multiple page formats are possible in a smart form. In a SAP scripts, we cannot create the multiple page formats. When activate, a function model is generated. In SAP scripts, there is no function model generation. The web publishing is possible in a smart form. In SAP scripts, it is not possible. We can write the program routines in a smart form. In SAP scripts, it is not possible. We can do the mass printing of the forms in a smart form. But the mass printing of forms is not possible in case of SAP scripts. Now, let's have a look at the smart form architecture. Every smart form needs a driver program for the execution. So when we activate the smart form, a function model is generated and from the driver program we pass the data to the smart form through interface we can select all the data from database in the driver program we can, we can pass that all data in the form of a variable or a structure or table to the smart form input then in the smart form the form logic is done there is also provision in a smart form to write the logic. And finally, we can see the output or a printer through a fax, through a web browser, through email, etc. Now, 
The transition code for the smart forms is smart forms. When we log in, we can see there are three options form, style, and text model. To create a new smart form, we have to give the form name and click on create icon. Now inside the smart form, you can see on the left hand side, this area is called as navigation area. The middle one is maintenance area. And this area, by default, it is not coming. If you want to see the form painter, you have to click here, form painter. If you don't want this area, again click on same button. Okay, this will get height. So this is called the navigation area. This is the maintenance area and this is form painter. Now, what are the components of a smart form? If you see here, there are two main components. One is the global setting. Second one is pages and windows. So inside the global settings, there are form attribute, form interface, and global definition. So what is the form attribute? A form attribute specifies the system information, like who has created the smart form, the date and time. And also, the form attribute contain the page format, whether it is a A4, A3, legal, etc. It also display the style, which is used for different text format, the font color, to control the text elements. So this all is there in the form attribute. Now, the second one is form interface. As I told you, the every smart form need a driver program to execute it. So suppose you are printing a purchase order, you are making a purchase order printout. Okay, so either we can pass only the purchase order number as an input to the smart form through program and the entire coding we can do in the smart form. Or the second option is that we can pass the purchase order number as well as the data in the form of tables from the driver program to a smart forms through form interface. And using that data, you can just print the data on the smart form layout. The form interface is used so the output of a driver program is input to the form interface. Now the next is global definition. It is used for the data declaration just like we do in the SC38 editor. So we can do the data declaration in the global definition. We can define the types. We can use the fill symbols. In the initialization block, we can write a complete code logic. We can also write the form routines and the currency quantity fields. That all we can define in the global definition. The next component is pages and windows. Now first we will see pages. On a page, we can create either a new page after that page or we can create a window, we can create a graphic or we can create an address. A page is used to define the layout of smart forms. A window is display, a window is used to display the text or information at a particular place. A graphic is used to display the logo or images. An address is used to display the address of a customer, a vendor, or organization using the address number field. Now, windows. In a window, we can create a text element, a table, a template, flow logic, or a folder. Texts are used to display the static or dynamic information in a window. A table is used to display the information in the form of a table. A template is used when we have fixed number of rows and columns. It's like table only but with a fixed number of rows and columns. The program li lines are written in the app logic. In the flow logic, we can write the program lines, we can make a loop, we can use the command statement to break the table, to switch to the next page. So they're all done in the windows. Now, how many types of windows are there? There are mainly four types of windows in a smart form. 
first one is the main window it is used for continuous output suppose you in a purchase order there are 30 line items but it is not possible to display all the 30 line items on a single page so in that case we use the main window so it is it is used for the continuous output the content of a main window can be displayed on multiple pages secondary window it is used when the max number of rows is fixed and it all can be displayed on a single page it is not continuous means we cannot go to the next page with the secondary window and the final window it is a special type of window just like secondary window but this final window is processed at the end of the processing suppose we have final window at the first page and we have multiple pages and on each page we are doing some coding the first system performs complete form processing and then it displays the data in the final window we'll see the exact use of this in the actual demo now the last one is copy windows it is used to mark the page as original duplicate copy etc so generally in case of manufacturing industry when they create a delivery challenge they print a three copy of challenge one for the accounting purpose that is the original second is for a decade entry process that is duplicate and they might require one transporter copy which is required by the courier person in that case we can use the copy windows so there are some demo layouts of a smart form so here you can see on a smart form we can display the look graphic we can display a template color shading we can have the text element there's one more example here you can see the table format also the coloring at the header and footer now summary for learning a smart form so as a beginner if you want to learn a smart form so what all the topics you have to cover the very first question is how to create a smart forms how to do the page setup that is the a4 a3 letter etc third one is working with a smart style like how to create a different font size and different colors understanding of form interface how to pass the data from driver program to the smart form input different type of windows then graphic how to print the logo images static as well as dynamic the address printing using the address number text elements that is also static or dynamic text elements now working with the system variables like how to print a date the username the page number etc how to create a template how to create a table how to write a flow logic that is program lines alternative loop etc how to create a folder how to create a driver program once we done all this then we can create the smart actual smart form based on the real time scenario so this all i will be covering in my this course okay so we'll first we'll see the individual components of a smart form once we done done with all this from point number 1 to point number 14 then we'll go for real time scenario so that all i will cover in this scenario thank you